Now that you know about the benefits of using volatility-based stops, let's now consider another really important aspect of trading, risk management. Risk management is a complicated subject. However, I would like to share with you one tool that is easy to use and will change your trading approach forever. In this section, I'll introduce you to a powerful tool that I have been using for over 10 years. Remember, we have to know thyself. I learned that this style of trade management suited my personality. So this strategy might seem tedious for some of you. For others, it might be just what the doctor ordered. Let's learn about the single and scale out method because it is an easy way to reduce risk. What we do with the single and scale out method is buy or sell at a specific entry point and then scale out of the trade at different intervals. As we scale out of our position, we will be moving our stops in the direction of the trade. To do this, we first need to have a specific entry point and a level for a protective stop. Once we have these two levels determined, then we can calculate our targets and our stops. So from now on, we will be buying or selling financial instruments with a common denominator of three. For an example, 300 shares of stock, three options, three futures, three, six, or nine Forex contracts, etc. Whatever it is, let's make sure it's in increments of three so that we can scale out in thirds. This strategy allows you to exit your position with different rules for each third. The first target is a short term day trading target. The second target is your swing trading target. And the final third of your position has a big loose trailing stop on it. I call this last lot the lottery ticket trade because when it pays off, it pays off big. Now let's see what this would look like on a chart. So here is a daily chart of the Australian dollar. We have the completion of a Gartley pattern here at 69.10. We put our initial stop down here at 67.60. So once we've established those two levels, the entry point and our exit, our protective stop level, then you can set your targets. The difference between your entry point and your stop, we'll call that your initial risk. To calculate your first target here at 69.85, this first target will be 50% of your initial risk. So you can see that your first target is about twice as close as where your initial stop is down here. So that's all we need to know for now. If we get filled at 69.10, we're looking to be a seller of one third of our position here at 69.85, and we'll be leaving our stop in all three contracts down here at 67.60. Now let's add some bars and see what happens. So we've added some bars here. We were filled on all three of our contracts right here at 69.10. The market moved up and hit our first target at 69.85. It's at this first target that we would sell one contract. That means we have two left. We're not going to leave our stop on the two contracts down here at 67.60. We're going to move the stop up to here to 68.35. So we're moving it up by 50% of our initial risk. It's at this point that after hitting the first target, we've reduced our risk by 83%. That's a good number. So now that we've sold one contract here, we move up our stop. So hopefully the market continues to go higher to our next target, which is at 70.60. This target here is equivalent to what our initial risk was when we put the trade on. Notice the distance from our entry level to where our initial stop was. There's our initial risk. So our second target is 100% of our initial risk up here at 7060.
one of two things will happen right now. It's either going to go up and hit our target or it's going to go down and stop us out here at 68.35. And even if it does that right now, I'm still going to be pretty happy. Even though I have to suffer a loss, I still reduce my risk by 83%, which is a very big number. So let's add some more bars and see what happens. Okay, so the market did go higher. It hit the second target at 7060. It's at this level that we sell our second third of our position. In this case, we had three Australian dollar contracts in the currency market, and we would be selling one of them here. So we sold one at 69.85. Now we sell another one at 7060. And what do you think we do with our stop? Remember, our stop was down here at 68.35. Now we move the stop up to where we put the trade on it, 69.10. Now this is a really good place to be because even if the market comes down and stops us out on our last third, if we get filled at our entry price, we didn't lose anything on that last contract and we're still profitable because we took a profit at the first level and the second level here. So this is a comfortable place to be. Now what do we do? with our last remaining third of our position, that last contract that we have. Well, that's the one I refer to as the lottery ticket trade. Remember, we covered off in the previous section how to use the three bar trailing stop using a volatility based trailing stop. That's what you would do at this point here. Going forward, you'd use a big loose trailing stop to try and lock in even more profit if in this case, the Australian dollar goes straight up. In that situation, you would profit tremendously by using a big, loose trailing stop on that lottery ticket trade. So now let's look at another example of how to use the single end scale out method. In this example, we're going to look at applying these single end scale out levels in Market Analyst to the mini Dow on a five minute chart. So to do that, let's imagine that we want to put on a trade right here and uh, we do it on a break above this high here. Our order would be to buy three at 12,175. And what we'll be doing is adding bars. I'll walk you through this example here. So let's add a bar and see if we get filled. Okay, so we would have been filled at 12,175 and in this example, we're going to put our stop below this low right here. So as mentioned before, it's important for us to identify exactly what our risk is up front before we put the trade on. Now that we have the trade on, let's go ahead and apply the single end scale out levels. To do that, we go over here to tools, go to BEC, go to single end scale out levels. And now, what we're going to do is apply it to this high here, and that's our entry point, and also to the low here where our stop is. So as long as we know our entry point and where our stop is, then we can, there's the second click, and we drag it over and drop it a third time. Okay, so that's applied to the chart. So let's add some bars. Okay, there we go. So we've hit our first target. We bought three here at 175. We would have sold one here at the blue line. And now we move our stop on the remaining two to this dotted line here. All right, let's see if we hit the second target. Boom. There we go. We've hit our second target. And so now we move our stop up to our entry point right here. Now at this point, what we can do is change up the time frame and apply a three bar trailing stop. So we're on the five minute chart here. Let's change it up to a 60 minute. Okay, there's our single end scale out levels displayed for us. 
little bit easier to see now. So here's our entry point. There's the first target, there's the second target. Now what we can do is apply the three bar trailing stop on the third contract. To do that, we go to tools, back, X bar trailing stop, click here. And as we can see, uh, it's way down at the bottom here at 12,112. Uh, basically, this stop is using the lowest low of three bars. So we got one, two, three bars. There's the lowest low right there. So the stop is really quite far away. Now remember, with this strategy, what we want to do, might as well add the rest of the bars. This is a live chart right now. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. So the worst case scenario is the market comes down and hits the green line and we get stopped out at our entry level where we put the trade on. If the market continues to rally for the rest of the day here and your three bar trailing stop down here starts to go above the green line, that's when your three bar trailing stop kicks in. And it's at that point that you can move your stop above your entry point. So that's how you use the single and scale out levels in Market Analyst along with the three bar trailing stop. So in review, the single and scale out method is a useful tool for most traders and it's something that I like to use every time I do a trade. It really is an easy way to reduce risk. The rules are quite simple. First, identify your initial risk. Then calculate your targets. Your first target is 50% of your initial risk. And your second target is 100% of your initial risk. We call this section an easy way to reduce risk because if you hit your first target, which is a high probability event, then you reduce your risk by a whopping 83%. After you hit the second target, you have a profitable position with one third of your position open with a stop at your entry point. We like to call the last third of the position the lottery ticket trade because you have a profitable position even if the market moves against you. And if it moves in your favor at this point, you have an unlimited reward with a big volatility based trailing stop following it. So we've covered a lot of information in the neophyte level of the geometric trading course. Now let's review what we've covered. Remember the key to trading education? Know thyself. You have to find out what your risk tolerance is and your trading style. Only when you know who you are, are you able to understand the behavior of others. Geometry is a lost art since the advent of the computer. By measuring time and price, we can make projections into the white space of the future. The geometry of the markets gives us the edge that we need to make money in the financial markets. Remember also the only tools you'll ever need? Price retracements and price extensions. Now that you're armed with these two tools, and are able to find geometric patterns, now you can find the pattern that is head and shoulders above all the rest. And that is the Gartley pattern. The Gartley pattern is the ultimate trading pattern. The Gartley pattern fits within the context of many other classical patterns like double tops, double bottoms, head and shoulders, Elliott wave, etc. In fact, upon closer examination, the Gartley pattern is an improvement and replaces most of these other overused patterns. The Gartley is a great trade setup, but what about the exit? Do you remember how to stop getting stopped out? We learned about the benefits of using volatility based trailing stops like the three bar trailing stop to exit our positions along with the single in scale out strategy to give us an easy way to reduce risk by trading multiple lots. If you found value in watching this free video, we have other videos available. Congratulations, you have just completed the Geometric Trading Course Neophyte Level Zero. 
Now that you've completed the neophyte level, you have a foundation to build upon if you choose to enroll into the initiate level. For most of you, the initiate level will be all you need because it provides a comprehensive trading methodology that is unsurpassed by anyone else in the industry for the price. The neophyte level and initiate levels, along with the Gartley Trading Method book, provides you with all the education that you'll ever need to get started trading, whether it's stocks, futures, options, or forex. Most of you will actually never go beyond level one. A small percentage of you will become proficient and master the methods taught in the initiate level and want to go higher. The apprentice level two and master level three are reserved for those of you requiring a higher level of sophistication. Further details of the apprentice master levels, including content and pricing, is only available to graduates of the initiate level one. So what's included in the initiate package? You'll receive access to 30 exclusive initiate level one high definition videos. The geometric trading course initiate level one is the companion course to the best-selling book, The Gartley Trading Method, New Techniques to Profit from the Market's Most Powerful Formation. So it's strongly recommended that you read the Gartley Trading Method prior to starting the geometric trading course. In the initiate level course, you will learn more about Gartley patterns, both the trend continuation and the trend reversal Gartley pattern setups. These geometric patterns will be the foundation of our entry signals in the initiate course. In addition, H.M. Gartley's rules regarding volume will be applied to his namesake pattern. These hidden rules for volume have been buried for decades and are now available in the initiate level. We'll also examine the best orders to use with your broker when placing your trades and how to execute automated scans for Gartley patterns on all markets. So how was level zero? Did you think it was good value for the price? Our approach here is different from many educators that will promise the world, take your money and then under deliver. We want to over deliver. So how about this? The geometric trading course initiate level one, 30 lessons in high definition video for a total of five hours of instruction. All for an introductory price of $97. And if you get to the end of the course and don't think it's worth the money, that's no problem. We offer a 30 day money back guarantee. I can't guarantee that this price won't go higher. So I'd suggest that you lock in your price today. In my opinion, paying $97 with a money back guarantee is a very low risk trade. If you think $97 is a lot of money, then I'd like to quote Derek Bach, who said, if you think education is expensive, try ignorance. This is what people are saying about the Gartley trading method. These are unsolicited testimonials about this book. You can see them on Amazon.com. One of the very best trading books I've read. A masterpiece. I couldn't put it down. And regarding the geometric trading course, OC from the UK has taken it and said, Ross has completely turbocharged my trading. Make sure you don't miss out on the chance to get trained by him. So this concludes the geometric trading course Neophyte Level Zero. This level has prepared you for the rest of the geometric trading course and for your career as a professional trader. There is a concentrated amount of information in this introduction, so to reinforce what you've learned so far, feel free to watch these videos again and remember to keep a journal. Write down some of the points that you think you might need to work on, because remember you gotta know yourself. To register for the Geometric Trading Course Initiate Level 1, go to geometrictrading.com and click on Education in the navigation bar for further information. If you have any questions about the Geometric Trading Course curriculum, contact Lindsay in our admissions department. Her email address is admissions at geometrictrading.com. This is Ross Beck. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again at the initiate level. And remember, geometry has been and always will be the single most powerful tool to forecast the world's financial markets. Mm -hmm.